okay fine so I've got the solenoid in the chuck supported well and tight and with a tungsten tool bit just sharpen slightly so I can get the ground up screwdriver in as a lever you can just go around you can see I've started doing it just tweak it open like that a bit at a time keep turning the chuck keep tweaking it open and then you can see that the valve case here is starting to come loose um, it doesn't take much to get this little valve out of the solenoid case but then to get the solenoid out of the solenoid case you need to tweak a little bit more on the case because it needs to be perfectly round and you could do that with the aluminium piece which I'm showing here in the tool head um, if you rotate it afterwards and press it in the lathe you can still turn it by hand and straighten out the case Whoops! little nicks don't matter because when you put it back it's just peened, peened back there we go it's out so it's easy you don't need any special tools you just need a lathe with a chuck in it and a little sharpened up screwdriver to tweak the case open piece of cake okay so on the way back in I've cleaned up the uh, bushes with a 4mm drill bit um, you have to side load the drill a bit because the um, bush is actually um, supposed to be 4mm only with the build up of this black crud on it it's uh, it's very smidgen less but the dr a 4mm drill bit actually measures about 3.93 so you have to side load it uh, just to scrape out the black stuff from inside the bush then you get your hang on you get your case here and you drop this back in you have to line up the black bit and you can see now it's nice and loose whereas before it was definitely a perfect fit um, I would have said with heat it was definitely going to jam so we put it back in the chuck again nice and tight then we get the actual valve here and I've checked it and it works fine it's got a spring and it hasn't broken then you line up the little notch here there's a notch which lines up with the plastic bit and you can see it's against the spring so then to hold that in you wind the tailstock in and I've got a piece of aluminium bar in there just to hold it in and it holds that's what happens when you knock the phone off the lathe ok so we're back on now so I've wound in the aluminium bar just a pinch you can see if I release it it lets go and it springs back out so that's just to hold the valve which is 371A as it happens onto the solenoid case so now all we have to do is close the case and the easiest way I tried rotating it with a piece of aluminium, it works, but it leaves swarf. The easiest way is just to peen it with an aluminium bar, and I'm going to do that now. So I start right there on the corner where the plastic connector is, and just peen it in. Just just like that and you can rotate the lathe, the aluminium doesn't hurt anything, just peen it all the way around being careful not to hit the plastic connector obviously And you can hear when it's peened right home, obviously the little steel case is hard against the valve housing and you can hear it's absolutely solid, there's no 
there's no mistaking the sound when it's right home. And that's it. Two minutes, job done. Back off the tailstock, drop the phone. Back off the tailstock. And then remove the valve and it's ready, put, ready to put back in.